Hello, good day viewers. Welcome back once again. Today we have this nice cubic equation, and here we'll be solving for the values of x. Now let's get started. From here, we have x cubed plus x squared plus x. This is equal to zero. Okay. Now from here. Many students may think that the best way to approach this problem from here is to divide through by x. But if you do that, you will forget a solution that x is equal to 0. And this solution, you're definitely not going to have this solution again. So what do we do from here? Look at the left hand side of this equation. x is common, so we factor it out. So here x cubed divided by x will give us x squared plus x squared divided by x will give us x plus x divided by x that is 1 then this is equal to 0 okay now here we have this product to be equal to 0 then we have either x is equal to 0 so we can see we have this solution here or the bracket x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 so from here, we're going to make use of the general quadratic formula. So here we get x is equal to negative b. In this case, it will be negative 1 plus or minus square root of b squared will be 1 square, which is 1, minus 4 times a times c will give us 4, then divided by 2. So from here, this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of negative 3 divided by 2. Now simplifying, we get x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus. Now here square root of negative 1 is iota and we have a root of 3, then divided by 2. Therefore we have the following solutions for x. So we have x is equal to 0 and x is also equal to negative 1 plus or minus iota root of 3 divided by 2. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel, also like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.